Hey everybody. I just wanted to put together a quick video to demonstrate how you can leverage a multi-action button on an Elgato Stream Deck to switch between applications specifically so that in case you're like me, if you're in a Teams or Zoom meeting and you need to uh, tell Teams or tell Zoom to mute while you're working within another application or working in something else, uh, you can easily do that with a multi-action button. Now, I just got this Stream Deck out of the package and on my desk and I just started building out buttons. Uh, so I've got a couple here. For your camera, you're going to create a multi-action um, button. So you do multi-action, drag it down over here, create the multi-action, and then let's actually not change the icon. Let's actually modify the hotkeys. So you can see here on one of the hotkey actions, I have the Windows button plus the number one. What a lot of people may or may not know is that these buttons down here, or these icons that you pin to your taskbar, are actually assigned a numerical value. So your first one being number one, all the way up to number nine. So you kind of have to use this sparingly or know where you've placed your buttons uh, so that you can create your hotkeys appropriately. For instance, my teams is on the number one spot, so Windows 1 hotkey will automatically switch to the Microsoft Teams application. Uh, number two would switch me to my password uh, lock. Uh, number three would open up Google Chrome, uh, Opera, Outlook, you get the idea. And then for your second action, you just select your hotkey for whatever you were doing within that action. So this one actually turns your camera on and off, which I do for my customers. I'll turn that on or off uh, when I'm sitting in front of them. And then the most important one I think is mute in all honesty. So if we go into mute, same thing, Windows 1, and then the shortcut key is for muting or unmuting. That's a quick way you can do it. I have noticed some weirdness between share screen and leave meeting, so I'm still customizing these two. Uh, but for the camera and the mute actions, those worked for me, um, and I'll be continuing to uh, really make more useful buttons as I in incorporate OBS uh, for different uh, scenes and settings um, and a few other things. But I thought this might be helpful to somebody out there that's trying to accomplish the same thing. Hopefully this saves you some time and energy of Googling. Good luck and have fun.